In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a simple linear chatbot using Bot UI. So you might be asking yourself, what is Bot UI? Bot UI is an open source framework that can, well, you can use it to build simple linear chatbots. Uh, what do I mean by linear chatbots? So uh, essentially you have one, um, one string, one line of conversation and there's no branches really. You have some uh, options to choose uh, to give input to the chatbot, but then the chatbot will go back to the one string uh, of conversation and, and carry, carry on with it in a linear way. So if you want to create a chatbot like that, there is probably hundreds of tools out there where you can do this uh, without any coding, but usually you have to pay for it. So there's a lot of startups that offer this kind of very simple chatbot via drag and drop, um, but you will need to pay for it. And if you're willing to do a little bit of coding, not much, then you can actually use bot UI. And then, yeah, you just need to do it. It's for free and there's no, well, you will need to host the chatbot yourself, but you won't need a backend. That's the good part. And there's no running cost other than the hosting because everything is happening in the front end. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you this simple bot that we are going to build. It's basically... It's like a concierge to a website. Hello, welcome to my website. Do you have any questions? And then what, what are your opening hours? And then that's a little joke. And then it goes back and says, I know, well, thanks. Or we can take the other option. Do you have any questions? What do you do? Yes, this is what I do. And then here we can see we had two options to choose from, but then it's going back to the same um, string of the conversation. Uh, so that's what makes it linear. And also you can see that there's only pre-made choices available here. So there's no natural language processing capabilities here. Um, if you compare it to tools like Dialogflow, for example, Dialogflow is way more powerful, but also way more complex. And you also need to pay for every request that you surf through Dialogflow. Well, this is completely for free. So and by the way, there's not only buttons, it also allows free text input, but there's no uh, natural language processing. So you can take an input like what's your name, but there's no, nothing happens unless you want to write some custom code that does the NLP yourself. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend that for starters. So let's get started. Um, in order to kick off this uh, chatbot using bot UI, I created this simple um, HTML. So essentially a very simple HTML document. I have the uh, styles here coming from bot UI. I've included those. Then bot UI runs on the JavaScript framework Vue.js. So here we got those dependencies and also then there's a JavaScript dependency for bot UI. Of course, I'll link the source for you. Uh, um, I have pushed it to GitHub so you can just clone it and then take it from there. Uh, maybe just one simple thing here that I want to show you if you uh, get rid of the min here with the Vue.js, you can run it in development mode and you will get more um, outputs for debugging. But yeah, since you're actually doing bot UI development, not Vue, you might not need it. Uh, and then here we have the main container where the chatbot will uh, basically hook in. And then I have created a JavaScript file, which is still empty. And that's where we are going to initialize the chatbot. So pay attention that the ID of the chatbot container here has this name. And now I'm going to my JavaScript file. We're going to need this. And I will go to the bot UI documentation, which I'll link in the description as well. And then it will show us how to initialize the bot. So let's copy this little line of code. And then we need to use the same 
uh, ID as here. If I let's actually try it. If I use a different ID, and then I go, this is the uh, HTML file. Then there will be an error. So if I use the correct ID, there will be no error. Great, and hopefully no more errors. That's why I'm going to close the console. Okay, so next thing we want to create a message. So what's the simplest, the most, yeah, the easiest way to create a message? I'm just going to copy that as well from the guide. So we, here we have the bot UI reference and then we can add a message. And then let's see if that works. Yeah, it's already there, cool. And now what I want to do is I want to add this typical effect that a lot of chatbots have. So there's, uh, I want there to be a delay and I want those little loading um, dots. Uh, that's why I'm going to set those parameters. And then we have the the little loading dots, which makes it a, seem a bit more like a uh, chatbot. Yeah. Um, or like what people expect from a chatbot. And then every uh, interaction, every message that you're adding to the bot UI instance is actually returns a promise. And that is why we need to uh, use a then function and then we can carry forward the conversation there. So now what can I do? I'll, I'll add another message. Once the delay and the loading spinner is over, then I want to add a second message. Um, let's not forget the semicolon. So what did I want my uh, copy to be? I wanted to say, hi, welcome to my website. Um, how, how can I help, let's say and then we'll add the buttons in just a second. So now let's check this out. Yeah, so this works, cool. Um, and now let's browse further down through the documentation and see, here we have the actions. So this is a text input. If I wanna ask the user for their name or whatever text input, I can do it with this, but I want a button so the user can select one of the pre-made answers. Cause like I said, there's no free text um, here, really accepted. Um, so we have to pre-populate uh, the conversation with answers. So now in working with promises, so you can do this and carry forward like this, but you will quickly see that there will be an endless nesting of uh, functions and promises. So that's not really a very sustainable way to go if you want to create a little bit longer conversation. Instead, remember that this um, function call returns a promise. So what I'm gonna do is do a return here and then it will return the promise um, back to the calling uh, yeah, so there's the callback function and it will return the promise and then I can chain the promises like this and then it kind of stays um, manageable on on the same um, level here in one chain. Okay, so this uh, will give us a button and also I'm going to add the return here already. And then I want two buttons now. So we asked, how can I help? And then the text is going to be, uh, what are your opening hours? So that's gonna be our slightly humorous um, part of this conversation. And then as well, I'm going to add a second button. Um, what, what do you do? So if I want to know more about the website or the creator of the website, um, this will be the thing to give me answers. And then we return the promise. So now I can go forward and chain another uh, callback function. Um, 
And now I'm just going to copy this because I pre-made this, of course. It would take too long to just write all of this from scratch. Um, wait, one thing first. So we can see here how we can get the result from the button click. It will look like this. So this is the this returns the value of the that I've entered here for the button. So this is what we're going to use. But I'm going to just copy this until the end. Um, and then what I'm doing here is I am creating a variable message and then I'm checking, okay, which button has been clicked, which value is being returned, ours or do, and then I will adapt, I'm adapting my answer um, according to that. And then, yeah, so the rest of the conversation will be uh, so this is the the jokey one that says, what are your opening hours? I'm just going to demo this. What are your opening hours? So I'm clicking this and then, haha, that's a good one. And then there's another button here. Cool. There's only one way to continue the conversation. And then it says, thank you. And if I go and select the other option, what do you do? Then I'll get some information. But then also we're going back to the same button here. Um, yeah, which will lead my conversation to the end. And there we have, yeah, we're back to the linear, um, linear conversation. So cool. So this is basically it. We have a, we have created a little chatbot, but of course this still looks a bit boring. We kind of, I want to make it look a bit more funky, kind of like this. Um, so how do we do this? So Bot UI has a theming um, functionality included, and we can just copy some CSS here. Uh, it's ba it's basically like a CSS a skeleton that can that I can use to create my own. Uh, my own um, custom theme. Sorry, was missing the word. So I'm just going to include that here. Let's do get our indentation right. Yep. So, and what you can see here, this is actually SCSS, but I want to keep it really simple because I'm just creating a very simple chatbot. I don't want any, um, I don't want a CSS preprocessor. I don't want any build tools. I just want a really simple HTML, JavaScript, CSS application. That's why I'm not even going to use SCSS here. Um, so I'm really giving you the easiest way to get started with uh, bot UI. Um, so what are we going to do instead? I did some work here before. So I'm going to get rid of the nesting here, which has to be uh, compiled into CSS. And instead, I'm just going to write pure CSS here. So here we have the bot UI message context content and then this is essentially the speech bubble that the chatbot writes on the left side and this is the bubble on the right. And now what I did is I changed the colors. So there's now a light blue and this is a yellow. And then I will also um, change my background color for the whole background of this because then it looks way cooler to be honest Ooh. so there's the kind of gradient that I wanted but I can still see that there's a container here that is uh, white still has a white background so it's uh, it's one of these I think it's this one that has the white background color yeah Bot UI container so what I'm going to do is bot UI container, say background color, inherit, and then I'll just, it'll inherit the color from the HTML 
and the body and then I have my my desired coloring so yeah that's it um, very simple chatbot and you can upload it and then it'll work out of the box you don't need any backend I hope this was helpful um, I will create a follow-up tutorial on how you can upload this to your WordPress website because if you're new to chatbots and maybe you don't know much about development then chances are that you have a WordPress website so I'm going to show you how to here's this is already hosted on my on a WordPress test instance I'm also going to put the link in the description so you can play around with it all right I hope this was helpful see you in the next tutorial